All right, guys, welcome back to the squat cycle. This is week six, session C. So throughout this week, we have been doing a minor deload. And then today in session C, we are picking back up the percentages for this workout. I only did belted squats. I didn't use sleeves, um, but I did use my lifters. I only belted up on percentages above 80, well, at 80% or above 80% for both of these sets for the back squat and the front squat. But everything else, warming up these first three sets here were all unbelted, no sleeves, but I was, again, using my lifters. So getting into this workout, looking at the pause back squat plus followed up with the normal back squats. Again, we're going with the same rep scheme of one set of each. Three plus three at 50%, two plus two at 60%, two plus two at 70% for the pause back squat. And as you will notice, this is scaling back the load just a little bit here. We're still at a four minute rest period in between sets. And then we get into our three main sets that we wanna lock in and focus on here. We're looking at a two plus one, that's gonna be two pause back squats, plus one normal back squat at 80%. Then we're going to knock off one of those pause back squats and do a one plus one at 85%. And then depending on how we are feeling on the day, if the body's clicking and everything's feeling good, go up percentage you get to make the call i wouldn't go above anything too crazy above 90 percent um, at max but 85 percent plus so you can hit the same weight if you'd like you can go up a few pounds 10 pounds 15 pounds however you feel um, on the day i was feeling pretty decent and again i was belted up at the 80 percent 85 and 85 percent plus and i hit an 89 percent lift of a one pause plus one back squat there in total this took 24 minutes from the start of the clock, zero, zero. Uh, my first working set to the final repetition of this one plus one here at 24 minutes. Um, getting into the front squats, there was a 23 minute rest in between the last working set of my back squat and the first working set of my front squat. Um, and in this time, uh, I felt pretty good after this one plus one that I did take um, a slight jump to 91% or 90% and did a single repetition, normal back squat at 405, just to kind of see where the body's at, test some things out there. Um, and just, again, feeling the weight over 400 pounds. So I wouldn't recommend that for everybody, but again, body was clicking, feeling really, really good. So we took that repetition and I'll explain why right now in the front squats that that probably wasn't the best idea. So a little bit different. The rest interval is the same and the percentages, the loading, and the rep scheme is exactly the same, except we have one less working set at that 85% plus. Um, and the reason is we kind of, the reason I'm going through this programming and seeing and feeling is how is my body feeling and how are you guys gonna be able to respond and just giving you guys full insight and context to how this is gonna feel. So, pause, front squat, plus normal, same scheme as the back squat. Again, three plus three at 50%, two plus two at 60%, two plus two again at 70%, again, four minute rest in between those sets. And then the last two working sets here, I did belt up. And as you will see in the pause, or not the pause, my apologies, in the rest intervals, you'll see that there's an additional time frame here. That is because I missed a repetition for the 80% and the 85%. Typically we have this at a lower percent than the back squat. We were trying to just see and test the numbers here. I may go back through the programming and shave off maybe two to three percentage points here. And I may increase the rest interval to four and a half minutes. But that is again why we test the programming. We go through the programming and see that maybe this was a little bit too aggressive on the day as this is a higher percent, higher workload for the front squat than what the body has been trained to do. So in total, we're looking at uh, from start to finish, 17 minutes to do the front squats. That's one of the benefits of doing one less set is it's one less rest interval um, going through that. In total, the session was 78 minutes, so an hour and 18 minutes. Um, again, you can probably cut off 20 minutes if you don't do 23 minutes in between the back squat and the front squat. It'll go by a lot quicker. But in total, you're probably looking at well over 90 minutes start to finish, including your warm up and clean up to complete this session. So that is week six, session C. Hope you guys are enjoying the programming. Thank you guys for watching this video. And as always, peace, much love.